day at utility. After wiring up all the police components, Austin and Joe are ready to install the prisoner cage. Now for the graphics. What the f- These two vehicles are outfitted with Wheeland's Sencom Core control systems. And with that, they have a lot of WeCanX products. Today we are going to learn the functionality of Core and the products that it supports. You might notice that this car and that car are flashing the same patterns at the same time. That is thanks to a module that goes in the rear window called the Vehicle to Vehicle Sync Module. Uh, it could also go on the dash or wherever it can get a GPS signal. What that does is it syncs all of the lights to the atomic clock on every vehicle that has that module. It makes sure that the flash patterns are flashing at the same time, which gives the, the vehicles along the road a less chaotic scene. Every vehicle that we do gets a free vehicle to vehicle sync module um, just because we're cool like that and we think that everyone should have this so we're syncing America. Another thing you might notice is the, uh, the flash pattern that this vehicle is displaying has a ramp up, ramp down type of uh, flash to it. What this does is leads to a lot less blinding and chaotic uh, scenes and, and, and actually provides a valuable warning that is safer both to the officer and oncoming traffic. One of the WeCanX products that pairs with the Sencom core control system is the new WeCanX tracers. Um, basically what WeCanX means is that when we go to program any of these light heads, we have full control of each and every one of these lights, allowing us to do a lot more with the patterns and their functionality. This is the control head that syncs to the controller. This one is the rotary knob model, and basically it has these buttons and these buttons and these buttons, and then this slide switch, and then this, this rotary knob. We can program all of that to do whatever we want. Uh, so if we can map this button to do one thing, and it shows that that is obviously a left traffic advisor, and it's going left. Some buttons do a double press, for example, on the takedown lights, press it once, it turns on the bumper takedowns, and then you press it again, and it turns on the light bar takedowns. And then, for example, like the gun lock, we have that program that when you click it, it unlocks the gun, and then there's a eight second countdown that is displayed here until your gun is relocked. Uh, back to vehicle features, we can also do things such as have the uh, tracers illuminate the scene uh, at night when the officer steps out or gets into the vehicle, or as they, they exit the vehicle, we could have it stay on for an extended period of time to illuminate the scene around them, making things a bit safer. Same thing with the rear door, front door, rear door, front door, both doors at once, and then the rear door and the front door as well, but also the rear door. And then we can also do things such as... When the turn signal is on here, we could have a uh, auxiliary turn signal warning up here for extra, hey, we're gonna be turning there, bud, look out. So another cool feature is as like, say an officer is responding, he might have a couple different flash patterns that he wants to be utilizing that would be most effective to that situation. And we use the vehicle integration features to make that all automatic so the officer doesn't even need to think about it as he's doing his job or responding to a call. For example, this is a response pattern as he's driving down the road, but then arrives on scene. As soon as he puts that vehicle in park, the pattern's going to slow down a bit and it's going to make the scene uh, less chaotic, he doesn't need to grab people's attention in front of them, that kind of ordeal. From an installer's standpoint, and then also saving you some money on the install time, uh, the nice part about these WeCanX products is we go from a wire harness that looks like this with 20 different wires for each function to a wire harness that looks more like this. It has three wires, data wires, that go from the light bar or light and runs to the controller 
where uh, everything is just synced together and then we set these IDs on the software that tells it, hey, this is a light bar. And then when we go to program things, we can make it do whatever you want it to do. So for example, if you wanted these corner lights to turn off when you open this door so you don't blind yourself, all we do is go in the software, select the light bar, say, hey, when this door is open, don't flash these lights right, right there. That's it. For more utility videos, please subscribe below.